Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Miesner Media tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to change a not-so-set sun into a setting sun inside of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this is especially good for those documentarians out there that are on a time crunch for the shooting and they don't quite exactly get the shot that they want when they're out uh, in the field, as they, as they say. So without any further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at how to do this. So here we've got this shot of a landscape that we've been working with some. As you can see, it is not a very setting sun. The sun's going down, but it's definitely not a, you know, Instagram sunset yet. So what are we going to do to fix this? The first thing we're going to do is bring our gamma way down super far. And now it looks more like a sunset already, right? But it just kind of mainly looks like we turned the gamma down. The bulk of this is going to be done with secondaries. We're going to be doing some more light painting type stuff like we've done in some previous tutorials, but this time we're going to make it look a little bit less extreme. So we're going to add another serial node and we're going to create a circle window right like this and just drag it down to the corner. You can see that the sun is over on this side uh, of the frame, out of frame. So make sure that this window is kind of coming from the same direction as the sun. We're going to make it pretty big, kind of squish it down. And you see we get like this kind of area of warmer color over here. And this is what we're going to try and accentuate and bring out and, you know, make it look like more time has gone by. I'm going to feather this out literally all the way. Bring it down a little bit narrower. And then I'm going to hit Shift H and we'll see just what we're selecting. You see, we're looking pretty good, but uh, I don't want these darker areas selected. I just want to be working with the brighter areas. So we're going to hop over to our qualifiers tab and we're going to uncheck hue and uncheck saturation. And then we're going to drag our low up some until we see, boom, stuff starts to disappear. So there we go. We've taken away those mountains. Now let's just soften this out some. Bring it up a little bit more. And now we're looking pretty good. So we're not going to be affecting these mountains anymore whenever we change this up. So we're going to bring our gamma back up here some, and we're also going to bring our gain up some. Let's hit Shift H so we can see it in context. We're going to maybe even make this a little bit wider. I know we've definitely made this brighter, but it doesn't look particularly more sunset-y. It just looks like there's a giant vignette. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our gamma in our color wheels and make it orange-ish. And now you can see we're getting somewhere. It's going to click over to our qualifiers tab, and we can see now it looks a lot more sunset-ish. It's still not all the way there. But we're definitely making progress. These secondaries are definitely helping out. We can fiddle with this as much as we want. We're going to hit Alt-P and create a parallel node. And then here we're going to create another circle window. We're just kind of going to move out from where we were before. Crunch this down and feather it way out. If you're having trouble grabbing little handles, you can just go down to the softness tab and just really crank it out. We're going to go to about there and we're going to invert this mask. So we're affecting the area outside of it. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to make this just a little bit bluer, just a smidgen. Then in our next parallel node, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Make another big circle window. And this one's just going to affect the outside edge of the frame. We're just going to darken it a lot more. We're going to soften this, make it bigger, invert it again. And we're just going to bring the gamma down even further. Now we're going to hit Alt S to create another serial node. And we'll go and hit Alt F to bring this up. So now we've got a much more sunset looking thing. And from here, we can do a little bit more grading. So we can bring our saturation up a little bit. We can maybe move the whole thing to be a little bit warmer. And then another thing we can do is go over to our curves and go to our hue versus saturation and bring the greens down because we all know there aren't any greens in sunsets. We can bring the blues up just a little bit and then the reds up a bunch. And now we've got something that's starting to look like a sunset. And you can see before, definitely not a sunset. After, if you told me that was a sunset, I'd believe you because I think it looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, be sure to give it a dislike. No matter what, tell me your feelings about it down in the comments below because I always love hearing your feedback. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mies New Media YouTube channel. If you want to get even more Mies New Media goodness, be sure to go down in the description below and check out our social media stuff. We've got Facebook and Twitter. While you're on your various social stuff, be sure to share this video with your friends so they can see how to change their footage into looking more like a sunset. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.